Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Meiosis. This is episode number 27. Today, we're gonna make some batteries. Last time, we upgraded our production capabilities with the Assembly Machine 3. This guy right here. And things got a whole lot faster. Everything is being made faster. We have more spaces. Well, I, did, I haven't upgraded this guy yet. I have not upgraded him yet. So that's not actually a good example. But everything is being made faster, more or less. Our reds have caught up. And as a result, the slowest thing being made now, the thing which is our bottleneck, is the plastic. What's plastic need? It needs coal. Obviously, it has plenty of coal. Coal is easy to get. But the petroleum grass, that is lagging behind. It looks like we're making a lot, but we actually need more than that. We need to speed this up to a blue belt or maybe even add two at some point. And you can see like down here at the end, this guy is not even getting any petroleum gas. And we need more petroleum gas because we're going to make batteries. We're going to make a battery cell. And I have not decided quite yet exactly uh, what else will be made at that cell. Maybe just batteries, maybe a few different things. But we need sulfuric acid for that. And that takes sulfur, which takes petroleum gas. So all of our tanks over here on the left, they're all totally full, 2,400. Uh, which means we just need more than this. <laughs> I've got 15 of these refineries, and it's not enough. So we're going to expand, and at a certain point, I'm going to have to rebuild this whole thing to incorporate uh, beacons. And to do that, what would I have to do? Let's think about that for just a moment before I lay this down. So there's going to need to be a line of beacons hitting the refineries there. So right now, this guy is hitting these two. And I could mostly get away with that, except for this water stuff is kind of... Uh, it's in the way. Is there a reason why I can't sink that down? Yeah, because this thing's in the way. Okay, so this is not going to work with our current layout. I would have to uh, do it like here, and I have to move the pipes back, which is totally doable. So I don't have to move anything on that side. Then we would need, um, I think we would need beacons here. So I would have to move all of these uh, chemical plants here. This way, I would have to move these lines farther. Yeah, it's going to take a, and all this stuff will have to move as well. That's going to be kind of a big deal. I might even move the whole thing up because we have, we have spare room up there and not down there. So let's just uh, not worry about that right now because we're going to have to completely rebuild it. We'll do that some other time. But for now, let's do this. Uh, so this line can overlap. All right. <laughs> That's funny. Nothing happened. What's going on? Uh, so off camera, I was running around the frontier and I was killing some aliens, which had gotten a little bit too close to my base. And my robots were getting killed trying to fix things while uh, there were swarms of enemies all around. So I took out the roboports. There we go. And, whoops. Okay, come on. There we go. So before we set up the battery cell, I think the next thing I want to do is I want to upgrade the plastic a little bit. So we're going to convert this to the new type of stop because we're going to be using more than one blue belt, hopefully, as output once we increase the capacity. So let's go ahead and cut off that. And let's go ahead and cut off uh, everything up to that splitter. And just let the belt sit there and do nothing. And But we're going to leave the chests. We're going to leave the chests. So actually to give my robots uh, a little bit less of a headache, let's just wait for those items to filter through. And I guess I'll go ahead and pick this up as well. Okay, that should be good enough. There's still a few items left, but that's good enough. Pick up all these inserters. And I'll have to, uh, because we're going to have a few less chests here, I have to manually pick up... I have to manually pick up the uh, the plastic out of these chests in the extra ones. It looks like we have a bunch of empty ones on that side. I guess because the train just picked them up. And this train's going to pick up nothing. Okay, where is my blueprint? It's right here. Ah, so much more compact. Let's line it up with the stop right there. And what's in the way? Oh, okay, uh, let's go ahead and just install it. And I will have to get rid of these and these. Let's do it again. Now that there's space for the uh, those guys. 
Okay, good. And they are not hooked up to anything. We have a bunch of redundant power lines now, which we can get rid of. Oh, that guy was in the way, I guess. Um, this guy we don't need. These guys... We kind of do need. Now, what is... Oh, no, we got that guy. Okay, so we don't need these guys. Whoops, okay, don't get hit by the train. Those two should connect up. And then these guys, we will just... Uh, we're gonna add an additional thing to them as well. So let's just give them a substation to connect them. Substation, not subspation. And then one of these to uh, hook up to there. Like that. Okay, now they've got power. Lovely. Uh, and I'll have to uh, remove those extra chests, etc. But that's basically right. Is anything else left out? I think the only thing missing are the chests that aren't supposed to be there. Uh, are supposed to be lights. Okay, next. Need a blueprint. Because we're going to split this guy in half. And where... Let's see. Went over here. So we're going to split this guy in half. I'm going to take everything up to the belt. Make a blueprint and just uh, stick it, I guess, right there on my bar. And then let's go ahead and pick that up. And we're going to take up basically all of that and add a line of beacons down the middle. And I'm also going to pick up this balancer because we're going to rework exactly how that is laid out in these pipes. All this stuff. So, uh, oh, okay, we're full. Uh oh, I did not... There. Yeah, at random. Let's put that stuff in there. Good. Uh, okay, then we're going to put a line of beacons down the middle. So see how that just barely hits it? Is this... Oops, okay. And the autosave. I did actually slow down the autosave. Took me about five seconds in the options menu. But I don't like digging through uh, options menus during the video. So that's... <laughs> and I don't think about it when I'm not recording. So that's why it took me so long just to do that. We're going to have that go right down the middle. Just a solid line of beacons that are going to hit both sides. And I think this uh, this one hits one. Okay. So there's our line of beacons. They're all going to ha hold two. I guess we can load them up. Or we can wait and then observe the difference. Okay, almost done. Uh, let's see. Last thing to do. I need to hook the petroleum gas back up to this side. Oh, and that's now too long, huh? Okay, so we're going to have to run that up through here. So let's get rid of this. And actually right there is fine. So let's just make this one big unbroken belt. Or uh, pipe. It's not quite long enough now. We'll do that. That. Bonk, bonk, bang, bang, bong. And we're in business. So you can see uh, the first six end up on the left side of the belt on this side. This section right here. Then they get sent over to the right side. So if they're all working at once, it should do that. Why one of these is going the wrong way? Oh, is this too long? Okay. Okay, a little troubleshooting. Whenever you make anything, got to do a little troubleshooting. There they go. I, and I'm probably not producing enough petroleum gas to support all of this, but we're going to go ahead and beacon it up. So there is the current speed with the extra via the productivity modules, and then with the speed modules added in. Let me run down here. That now looks like that. And what did we run out of? We ran out of petroleum gas already. Awesome. Okay, so we need to totally ramp up our petroleum gas. I think our plastic... It's going to be uh, good to go for a while. We, we're going to really have to upgrade a lot of stuff before we have to upgrade this again. All right, so I don't remember what I was talking about in that last clip. Some time has passed. I've been designing a blueprint. Okay, let's turn this guy on. Send him off for the iron and the copper for this train. Important detail is we are making batteries. In fact, uh, this thing we're going to put on the ground is going to have a capacity far exceeding anything we're going to be able to uh, accomplish anytime soon. Here's ease. Here it is. Bam. That's, um, 
That may or may not look incredibly impressive. If it doesn't look impressive, it should, because that's gonna create a stupid amount of batteries. Let's see, we need this to be one space higher than that so that we can bring the batteries over to the loader for when we need them, just like that. And then maybe something like that, just to get a little breathing room. Look at this guy. Okay, so each of these little dudes is going to create a battery. How often? Every five seconds. And I got 20. So we're gonna be creating four batteries a second. Why? Um, because we can. Actually, we can't, but maybe one day we'll be able to. And I'm out of belts. Okay, let's, let's bring the car over. Thank you, guys. Okay, jump in. I'm pretty sure I should have more inside of here. Yes, okay, good. And let's bring the car just a little bit closer. The uh, iron and the copper should be here soon, and then we'll have to hook up the uh, sulfuric acid. We'll also need to be hooked up, and this needs to be connected to power. So just for now, we can just do, I guess, that. Okay, now they're all powered. Yeah, so um, not only are these guys producing for a second total, we've got them all sped up. So this guy is plus 170%. So we're gonna be creating like eight to 10 a second, something silly like that. There's the iron all coming across. Okay, so the iron needs to go to these guys, but it also needs to go where we're making the sulfuric acid. I have a blueprint for that as well. This is enough. Um, I th think it's been a while since I did the math. I designed the things and then did the math. I think this is uh, this is enough. Yeah, that's right, okay. So it's enough to power all this without the beacons but we're not gonna be able to power all this. We're not gonna be able to get enough, um, what's it called? Uh, petroleum gas over here. So let's see, that right there needs to sort of line up like this maybe? Or what if we wanna do it like that? Okay, I think that's probably a pretty good idea right there. Give you a little bit of space. So this guy is, oh, and let's hook you up to some power. Okay, that'll do for now. I think I'll rework this in a bit. So, um, okay, what was I saying? This uh, sulfuric acid is coming out of here. So let's connect him up. And that will be going into the batteries. This needs to have iron. Okay, so let's reverse this belt. Then we're going to have two belts of iron coming here, but we need three. We need you. We need... I guess we'll do the uh, the outside ones and you. So we need a two to three balancer. Let's see if I can remember how to do a two to three balancer. I think it's something like you have an input, then you do something like this. You take the fourth, you split it into four, you take the four, then you put it back into the original belt, into the original splitter. Something like that. Um. Yeah, but we're gonna have two belts coming, so we would have two inputs here. All right, well, it looks like that. Had to look it up, don't use it too often, and I think I have the petroleum gas and the water both hooked up, which means we just have to lead the iron and the copper down their respective paths, and I think we should be good to go to watch it go. Watch it flow. Here we go. Words that end in O. Uh, okay, apparently I laid some tracks down backwards. It's an honest mistake. Happens all the time. Okay. Did I construct it correctly? This is always an interesting experiment. Um, at least partially appears so. There goes the copper down to the end of the guy. Are we making... Uh, now, we might not be... Oh, uh, hmm, we might not be making uh, or bringing enough petroleum gas all the way down here. That's certainly a potential problem. But it does seem like we are... It does seem like we're making batteries on both sides. That's good. This has a... Creative Cloud is re... Why... Okay, I just had a message that Creative Cloud is restarting. I don't even know why Creative Cloud was open. That's the... Uh, my... That's the Adobe stuff. Uh, this thing has enough throughput to last us probably forever. However crazy I want this base to get, this thing is gonna be able to handle it. The problem is gonna be getting enough petroleum gas down here to deal with it. Uh, these guys are making, they're about to run out. Okay, uh, let's see, did I 
forget something here. These guys are working fine. So I can construct these guys as a module. I could double them up. Since these guys have all these speed modules, they're basically doubled in speed. I might need to make another one of these. So it seems like these guys are making non-stop. These guys are making non-stop. And uh, what might be happening, well, for one thing, batteries aren't going anywhere, so the lines are going to back up. But what's probably happening is we just don't have enough juice. We don't have enough uh, petroleum gas coming in. Or if we do, we're not creating enough sulfuric acid to power all that. Oh, look, yeah, it is full. So I put some pumps further down the line to sort of cut off the plastic while we were building this. Let's try. Can we make another one of these? And if I put it actually like right... Put it in line with this. Let's... Oops, wrong one. Let me put it like right here. And it should line up okay, I think. We can even do it like that. All right, I'm pretty sure. I hope. There we go. Kersplash. Okay. Good. And then we need to hook these guys back up. I could provide these guys with beacons, but they're not really set up to handle them the way the other guy over there is. Okay, and then we need uh, right here. Okay, now they've got all that, and we may need to connect the iron. That's the wrong way. See how that happens? There. Okay, and then the sulfuric acid needs to be connected up to the output, so we'll just do that right here. That can go to there. There we go. Okay, so um, that might help. We've just doubled our output. We've got these two little crab monsters there, whatever they are. Looks nice. That's a nice looking cell. Look at it. Oh, so refined. I spent a decent amount of time, more than I have been recently, of refining this design to make it nice and compact, make it look nice. We've got the, uh, we can go, I guess we can go ahead and do this. And this will give us some more throughput or some more space. Um, it'll empty up those belts, but they'll start creating again. So the reason I needed it space like this so that I could do that and bring you down here. So um, I have been noticing recently that Whenever I check on the power situation during the day, previously, previously my whole base has only been running on those 7,000 solar panels. But uh, more recently, since I added all those extra drills probably, uh, we've been using the steam engines a little bit more here and there. So I think it's time to increase our power. So in a, maybe next episode or, in a, or the episode after that, we're going to add... Whoa, look at that guy speeding by. He just... Wait, why was he going so fast? Did somebody just use this thing as a U-turn? Who just came through there? Was that a U-turn? Nobody should have been coming through there. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Uh, I'm gonna have to investigate that later. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make 500 more steam engines. And I'm going to put them in somewhere where they can have their own exclusive iron patch. Maybe like this iron patch or that iron patch will go exclusively to uh, 500 steam engines. And then also I'm going to construct a, a giant, huger, much better green circuit cell. So a second one, but it's going to be way better. And it's going to have a dedicated iron and copper patch all to itself. So I think it's going to be this and that is gonna to go to one big green circuit cell because green circuits are in everything. And we need so many of them. And we're getting to the point where we're ramping up throughput to get ready for the, uh, to start making rockets, to send in the rockets to outer space. So I'm thinking about massive throughput and that's one of the things we need to do in the next couple of episodes. There they go. Um, I, do I need to limit this? I didn't think about that. I probably should, huh? Okay. Um, Quickly. It's going to take it a while to fill this up. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Did I do stupid belts the wrong way? All of these. This one's working. Okay. Okay, quickly. <laughs> it's going to take them a while to fill all this. Uh, but it doesn't hurt. Oh, uh... Okay, that's fine. It, that's what I want for that one as well. 
That was the copper coming through here. Now, if the battery train, which I haven't made yet, we don't have a purpose for at this moment. If he was sitting here, the, um, the other train would have gone around. But some train came through here super lickety split and then turned around and left. I wonder if it's the copper... I wonder what's going on with that copper train. Okay, let's look at battery. We should only have two. What's this guy doing? He's picking up copper. Copper cell, 20 second passed. Battery cell copper. Cargo empty. Yeah, but he should have... He should have stopped. He should have picked it up when he went back. I'm not sure what just happened. Maybe I'll have to look at the tape. Maybe that'll reveal something. Okay, but let's see what's going on. Barely making enough sulfuric acid, so let's go back down the course. This is connected to you. These are all connected, right? They're making nonstop. We've got plenty of iron. So are we making enough sulfuric acid or sulfur? So you should need five of these guys per two of those. They make uh, two sulfur every second. We've got five, so we're making ten a second. And then I've got two of these. They make five a second. Uh, they require five sulfur a second. And we've got five of these guys. Uh, maybe I miscalculated. I may have uh, done the math wrong. I may have divided when I said I should have multiplied or something. But it seems like we're uh, making... Oh, this guy isn't making... Why? You don't have water! Oh! Nor does that guy. Okay. <laughs> Found a problem. This is supposed to be connected up. Okay, this is connected up. Uh, I, I guess I forgot to add... This guy needs to come through there. Okay. Okay. Found the problem. We solved it. So there's that. Now you've got water. Now you're producing. Are you producing? Yes. You're not produced because you don't have water either. Aha! Okay, that's supposed to connect you. But I've got that and that. Oh, okay, so this doesn't connect to anything. So we need to do it like this. We need to come off here to the side. And then... There. Okay, now all four should be making. We've... No wonder this at first didn't seem adequate because only half of it was organ. Maybe I should have paid attention to that. I mean, I... I was looking, I just uh, didn't find the problem right away. I clicked on a lot of these. I didn't click on every single one. Now we're making nonstop. Now more of these should be getting used. You're going nonstop. You're going nonstop. And how are the batteries going? Uh, seems better. We still don't... Um, I still don't think this is enough sulfuric acid to power all that. We probably don't have enough... What's this even called? Petroleum gas. Too many things... Too many names to remember. I don't know that we have enough petroleum gas to power all of this, at least not long term, while also making um, plastic. But this don't, these don't have anywhere to go for a while, so this is going to back up soon, and then we'll start making plastic. And I'm going to have to try to find a way to balance the flow. There's our plastic supply. Slowed down a lot because I added these, which is shunting a lot of our petroleum gas off in this direction now that we've done the test. Uh, I think if I just get rid of these... Um, I th think it will even out. It will prefer this because it's closer a little bit. There we go. Now it's going to speed up a lot. Anyway, all right, that's the end of the episode. We did a lot of stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments below. Uh, any feedback, any, uh, any tweaks I should do to make things run a little better. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.